Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I uh, will create a workflow that lets you edit your IT tickets with one click. So in previous demos, I've just made a rudimentary email sending workflow. In this case, I'm going to do a more elaborate one. So I'm going to go into SharePoint Designer, go into the list of my IT tickets, and there I'm going to create a new workflow. And as before, in my previous demos, it's going to show me high prio emails. And then I'm going to start a condition. If any value equals value, I'm just going to select the current item prio. In that case, I'm going to send an email if the prio is high. So the action here is, of course, to send an email. And what I want to do now is the assign to person gets that to his email address. Then I want there to be a link in here so that they go directly to the edit form. So I'm going to show you that. And in this case, it's a really good idea to get a lookup in here also with the actual title of the task. So I'm going to pick out the task name here. And then I'm going to build a link here. And each list has three forms by default, the disk form, the edit form, and the new form. So to get the URL to that form, you can go down here to the all files, which is a view of your SharePoint site showing all the files in there. Then I'll go into the lists and the IT tickets. And as you see, there are the forms in there. There's the edit form there. So I'm going to right click on that and get the properties of that. Then we have the full URL to that particular form. And I'm going to put that in here, in the email. But what you also need to do is make sure that you send the appropriate ID. And that's like that, ID equals, and then the ID of the current item, because otherwise you'll get into a blank item. And that will, of course, get you into that particular ticket. Let me show you how that works when I create a new item here. Stop. And when I go into edit mode here, you'll notice on the URL that that's how it works in the end here. I get a lot of other stuff, but I do get the lists IT edit form ASPX ID equals 3350, which is the current ID on this one. So that's how I found out that URL that it actually takes the ID parameter. All right, let's see how this works now. Of course, I'm going to set the start option. So also start the workflow automatically when an item is created or changed. I'm going to publish that. If I did something wrong. Let's continue and edit that. Of course, yes, I need to go to end here. Always need to do that. And then I'm going to publish it. And now I didn't get any error messages. So when I add a new item here, test two and I'm gonna assign myself this task and I'm also gonna set it to high priority there's the priority up there high the workflow will start running rather quickly and I'll eventually get a new email so I'm gonna open my mail in a new tab and make sure I keep a watch out for that you can also check here if my workflow is running and I'll get a notification here in this column, the high prior emails, which is the name of the workflow, of course, I can see that it is on stage one, and it's completed. And here's my email. And here's the link. And as you see, it points to the ID 3351. Now, So if I click on that, I go directly into the edit form of that particular item. So that concludes my demo on how to add a workflow that has a link that points to the specific item and directly into the edit form. Thank you for watching this demonstration.